This is your daily Red Dead Online information video for Saturday, January 32nd, 2020. Howdy, Cowpoke. Awesome BMX here, and thanks for checking out today's daily Red Dead Online information video for February 1st, 2020. Can't believe it's February already. I didn't want it to happen, but it is. So, uh, there it is. Madeline Zara has not moved. I'm not sure why she hasn't moved today, but she is in the same spot she was at yesterday. If you guys take a look on the map, we show you she's right up here in Roanoke Ridge area, right between the A and the N in Roanoke. Pretty easy fast travel spot from Annisburg. Just don't run into any trees on your way up here. Now, before you come up here, make sure you get the weekly set from Madame Nazar. It's the semi-precious stone collection. We do have one of your spots right here. Right next to the A in Annisburg, uh, right on the other side of this road. I think it's right on the edge of this cliff, right on the other side of a log. Should be a dig site for you. And then your next spot for the day is right up here at Ches Porter. Ches Porter, little ranch up by Window Rock. Cruise on up here, go inside the main house and inside one of the main rooms inside the cabinet there is your second spot for the day. And your last spot for the day is all the way down in by McFarland Ranch area right here. I'll zoom in kind of slow. Just be right there next to a tree for another dig site. All right, make sure you guys are picking up all three of those spots for an easy 95 bucks and 1,000 XP. All right, look at daily challenges for today. You know, just like normal, they are pretty easy. We got biggest fish contest completed. All you gotta do is be in a posse and just start a biggest fish contest. Don't even gotta win it. Just start it and do whatever else you want. We have pretty easy thing to do here. We have canned foods eaten, as everyone looks like they're doing right now. They're getting that challenge done pretty dang easy. We do have one Cormac Cat plucked. One Cormac Cat plucked. This is a weird black bird. I uh, don't know where they are. I think they're in the marsh. I think Blue Water Marsh is where Cormac Cats are, but Cormac, Cormac Rants. Cormac, Cormac Rants. It sounds like a really weird bird. It is. They're hard to find. There's no animals in this spawn anyway in this game, so yeah, that was going to be hard to get that thing plucked. We also have drink orders at a saloon times five. Looks like everybody behind me has already had their drinks for the day because they're all uh, doing some weird shenanigans back there. We also have three player kills with a pistol in showdowns. Make sure you own a pistol for that one. And three player kills with explosive in showdowns. So showdowns are going to be some uh, pretty explosive times today. Easy one for the day, we have visit a shop in Blackwater. Moving on to our rank 20 roll challenges for today, we have complete special moonshine recipe, we also have craft toxic moonshine, and we have two moonshine of preferred type sold to a buyer. For traders today, we have 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes, it can be any carcasses you want, so I highly recommend filling your satchel up with small little birds if you can even find some stuff and uh, get those donated quickly. We do have 20 donations to Cryptstone. This could be anything. I usually use feathers because I usually have quite a lot of feathers. Donate 20 feathers and get some gold. We do have six perfect carcasses donated to Crypts. I think my wagon is full of five perfect panthers right now. So that might be pretty good to do that. Then we have two collectibles found with the metal detector for collectors. We also have collector maps used times three. I mean, you can trade some cash for gold if you're really into it. And we have lost jewelry found which if you use those three locations I gave you earlier for the weekly set, you should get that one done. All right, and last but not least for bounty hunters today, we have bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. We have eagle eye used to track a bounty target and one player bounty collected. Let me know if you guys are having any issues with these two because usually there are some issues with the bounty challenges and tagging and tracking and all that whatnot. And then of course the player bounty is gonna be a luck based one. Well, Cowpoke, that's all we got for you for today, Saturday, February 1st, 2020. Hope you guys had a great January. I can't get by. I'm stuck. Everyone's in my way. But hey, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.